Hi guys, I am doing another tutorial for you guys. I'm sorry that I haven't done one in a while. We've do, we have done some sew alongs and some other things, but it's been a minute since I've done something from measurements. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a really quick and easy dress. Let's get started. All right, let's go over everything you're going to need. So clearly you're going to need some paper because instead of drafting directly on our fabric, which we sometimes do, I'm gonna have you create the pattern and then we're gonna use the pattern to cut our fabric. So grab some paper large enough for you to make at least a 24 by 24 inch square. Then you're also going to need a ruler, a yardstick, a tape measure, whatever you have a pencil or marker. I'm gonna use a marker so you guys can see me, but you should be using a pencil. You're also going to need a one inch wide elastic. You're going to need something to cut with. Always remember to use paper scissors for paper and either a rotary cutter or fabric scissors for your fabric. Don't mix the two. Then you're going to need fabric. So this is made from a knit fabric. I'm using a lightweight double knit fabric and you're going to need at least two and a half yards. I always buy an extra half yard just in case, but that's up to you. I think you can do it for two and a half um, or three yards. Then you're going to need a tank top. So we're gonna be using a tank top for the top portion of our dress. So you could use a longer length tank top. Usually the ones that come to your hip bone are nice because it gives you a longer body and then we attach the skirt portion to that. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to fold your tank top so that you don't see the top portion. So right at the underarm, you're going to just tuck that to the inside. Now you should be using a really fitted tank top, okay? You don't want a loose fitting tank top because it's gonna be really nice, uh, nicely fitted to your body. So what you're gonna do is real easy. We're just gonna trace the sides and the bottom and the top. So grab your ruler and your pencil or marker. Now I wanna add seam allowance at the same time so that we can sort of speed up the process. So I'm just going to measure out a half inch from my tank top and make my line. And then at the bottom, I want at least another half inch. So I'm going to measure out a half inch from the bottom. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Measure out a half inch. Now for the top, we want a one inch seam allowance. So I'm gonna measure out one full inch from my fabric or from my tank top. Okay, now you can remove it. And you're just gonna use your ruler to join all your lines. Now we're gonna label it. I want you to write bottom, top, cut, two. Okay, go ahead and cut out your bodice pattern and we're gonna start drafting um, our skirt portion. So grab another piece of paper and we're basically just going to make a square that is 20 inches by 20 inches by 20 inches by 20 inches. So I'm gonna use the straight line of my paper, okay? So I'm gonna try and use this very straight line here. If you don't have a straight line, then draw one. If you've just torn a piece of paper and you don't have one single um, straight edge, then go ahead and make one with your ruler and then work from there, okay? So this is gonna be a cut edge for me. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out our 20 inches, so grab your ruler, I'm gonna measure out from, like I said, this is gonna be one edge for me. My ruler is actually only 18 inches, so I'll have to add 20 inches. And then I want you from that point down to measure another 20 inches. And now another 20 inches to close out your square. Okay, so this line here is where we're going to be placing the fold of the fabric, okay? So I want you, this is my left, okay? I want you to write fold. OK, 
Okay, now I want you to grab your bodice and we're gonna measure along the bottom, okay? We wanna see how wide this is. So for me, that's 15 inches. So measure what this bottom measurement is for you, okay? The width of the bottom, not the top. Make sure that you're measuring the bottom. So for me, it's 15 inches. Whatever it is for you, you're going to divide that by half, okay? So I'm gonna take my 15, I'm gonna divide by half. So now on the line that is closest to me, right, on the piece of paper that is closest to my body, we're going to measure out that half measurement. So whatever that was for you. For me, it's seven and a half, so I'm gonna measure seven and a half from my line down, and then I'm gonna measure in a quarter inch. So measure in a quarter inch, and you're gonna make a line. So now we have this little measurement that's down a quarter inch and then we square it off, okay? So we have this line and then we're going down a quarter inch, whatever that measurement was for you, whatever that half measurement. For me, it was seven and a half inches. So take whatever the bodice, bottom of your top was, divide by two, and then whatever that measurement is, that's what you're gonna measure down and then in a quarter inch. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and cut around your entire square, but I wanted to show you what my little um, cutout here is before I cut it out. So I measured whatever that half waist uh, measurement was, the bottom of the bodice, and then I went down a quarter inch, and now we're going to cut that little piece out. So now you have this square, and then you have this little indention that we created here. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start cutting out, uh, start by cutting out our skirt portion of our dress. So I went ahead and I have my fabric folded in half. Obviously right sides are facing, salvage edges are meeting. The fold of the fabric is up here towards my body, okay? Now we're gonna fold it again. So make sure that it's nice and smooth and then we're going to fold it again. So we're gonna be working with four layers. You wanna fold it enough so that you can fit your entire square on it. Okay, once you have your, fold, your fabric folded, then fold it again and all smoothed out, okay? So you don't want any wrinkles, you don't want any bunching up underneath, you want it to be nice and flat. You're gonna take your pattern piece, you're going to lay it over the top. You're gonna to make sure that the fold on your paper, on your pattern, is on the fold here of the fabric and that the little cutout section is placed against the fold that's closest to your body. Use your pattern weights to hold it down. And you're gonna go ahead and first cut around the bottom and the side. Okay, once you've cut around the side and the bottom, the only thing that you have left to cut out is this little tiny cutout, okay? So go ahead and I'm gonna use my scissors so that I don't cut too far into this. So I'm gonna cut. Okay, now remove your pattern piece. And now when you open it up, you should have this little sort of cutout, right? So go ahead and set this aside and then we're going to cut out our top. Okay, you're gonna readjust your fabric. My fabric is still folded in half, but we're only obviously working with just two layers. And now just go ahead and cut around your top. Now you have two pieces for your top and you have your skirt. Okay, so now just so I can keep myself on track, I make two little snippets, tiny, tiny snippets at the bottom on my fabric so I know that this is the bottom versus the top. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to sew our side seams, okay, it's so a pretty basic. Just go ahead and pin your side seams, right sides are facing each other. And then pin the other side. 
Now we're gonna go to the sewing machine and we're going to be using a very, very narrow zigzag stitch and we're going to stitch using half inch seam allowances. Okay, so remember that we're using a half inch seam allowance and that we're working with a knit fabric so you should be using a stretch needle or a ballpoint needle for your sewing. Also, just a quick tip, if you're using, when you're using a knit fabric, sometimes at the beginning of your stitches, the needle can sometimes push your fabric down into the little hole here and will cause it to get stuck. So I like to start with a piece of paper underneath my fabric and I can sort of go ahead and start to stitch, back stitch, and then remove my paper. And remember, we're also using a very, very narrow zigzag stitch. Okay, you're just gonna continue sewing until you pass your uh, paper, if you're using it. Okay, and then you can just tear away your paper. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I went ahead and surged my seam allowances. If you have a serger, go ahead and surge. If you don't, um, your knit fabric won't unravel or fray, so you don't have to necessarily wor worry about it, but you do also have the option of zigzagging your seam allowances for a nice clean finish. Now go ahead and grab your skirt portion, and if you open it up, you'll see we have a hole in the middle, and we're literally just going to attach it to the bottom of our bodice. So with right sides facing, I'm going to Make sure that my side seam on my bodice is where that little squared off part is. So wherever your little squared part is, that's where you're going to pin your first side seam. And then your other side seam is gonna go on the other side. And then you're gonna continue pinning around. So if you might need to stretch your bodice a bit. So now we have this circle. This is now where our body goes, right? So that was sort of, if it was our waistline, this would be where it would be at. So we have this little cutout, we attach and pin it to the bodice. And now we're going to sew around using a half inch seam allowance. Okay, starting at one squared off side, which is where our side seam is, we're going to stitch, back stitch, and sew all the way around using a half inch seam allowance. Now if you have a serger, go ahead and serge around your seam allowance. Okay, so right now the dress looks obviously a little weird, but when you put it on, it drapes down the sides and gives you a really beautiful handkerchief skirt. So now what you're gonna do is we're going to finish off the top and attach our elastic. After that, you just have to finish your hem and you'll be done with this dress. We're using a one inch elastic, so you're going to turn under an inch and a quarter. Okay, so I want you to go ahead to your ironing table and I want you to fold to the inside an inch and a quarter all the way around the top of your bodice. Okay, I went ahead and pressed my inch and a quarter and I'm gonna use some pins just to hold it in place because I like to stitch on the top of my fabric versus having the bobbin thread on the top. So go ahead and pin just a couple times just to hold it in place as you're sewing. It's already pressed so it should stay. And now go ahead and go to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch around the edge. Okay, now we're gonna be stitching along the edge, right? But we can't really see that cut edge because it's on the inside, but you can certainly feel it. And you know where it is, you've pressed it, right? So you can always measure down an inch, make sure that your needle is in the right place. And we're going to stitch all the way around using a zigzag stitch again. To make sure that you're staying exactly where you need to be, keep your eye here where the fold is and then instead of looking at your needle, you're looking here so that the distance between the folded edge and your needle will be the same all the way around.
We're gonna stop an inch and a half before we get to where we started. We need an opening to insert our elastic. Okay, grab your elastic. You're gonna measure around the bodice at the top. Now you can also put this on your body, underneath your armpits, around the circumference of your upper chest and measure whatever that measurement is. You're going to cut a piece of elastic and you're going to get a safety pin. We're going to take that piece of elastic, we're gonna put, put it in through our casing. You're gonna put your safety pin through one end of your elastic and find your opening and you're just going to put your elastic inside and use the safety pin to help you get it all the way around. Now you're going to overlap your ends just like this and you're going to stitch across to hold them together. Okay, once you've zigzagged both of your pieces together, they're overlapped about a half inch, they're nice and secure, you can go ahead and pull until your elastic is all the way inside. And then you're going to, you should not have any gathering, right? So this should be flat, it shouldn't be sort of scrunched up. So your elastic should be exactly the same as your bodice. And then all you have left to do is to close out your opening and finish the hem of your skirt. All right, that's all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and please make sure and tag me on social media at Mimi G Style using hashtag Mimi G Tutorial. Until next time, peace.